Well, welcome back. The crypto craze is back. Bitcoin back above $11,000 over the weekend for the first time since January. The cryptocurrency rebounding after a sharp sell-off last month. Joining us now to talk more about it is Future Perfect Ventures founder and managing partner Jalak Jobanputra. Jalak, good to see you. Good to be here. So Thanks. you think Bitcoin is headed back to a 20000 now? Well, I, I think uh, it will be eventually, yes. Uh, we, we don't know how long it'll take to get there. We saw a huge run-up uh, in, in just December alone, and we're now back to where we were probably in early December. I think it hit 10000 in uh, over Thanksgiving. Yeah. Um, so I'm a big believer in the long-term prospects of, of the cryptocurrency. Well, you know, there's a story this morning saying that Bitcoin rises as South Korea regulators show support for trading. Basically, South Korea wants to see normal trading in digital tokens. They say that's one of the reasons that actually and that's been the big problem for Bitcoin is all the regulatory uncertainty. Even in the United States, you're starting to see that. I mean, what do you think about this? Does Bitcoin need the kind of regulation that these countries are talking about? Or is this just unhelpful meddling in what's going on in this market? Well, look, what we saw in 2017 was truly the Wild West. Uh, none of the crypto uh, trading was regulated. Uh, you had new cryptocurrencies being issued almost on a daily basis uh, where they would just open up a cryptocurrency wallet and then be open for business and people would be sending millions of dollars to these crypto wallets. So I think some regulation so, so is but good. What, what was the danger of that? Getting back to Brian's question, did that need to be regulated or was the uh, free market and the technology itself uh, enough of a policing? Uh, well, what happened was we saw Bitcoin go from, uh, you know, 1,000 earlier in 2017 to 20,000 at the end of the year. So people just kind of piled in thinking all these other cryptocurrencies were going to appreciate in the same manner. What people didn't realize was that Bitcoin has been around since uh, 2009. There's a lot of underlying technology development that's happened, uh, which makes it more robust, which makes it more secure uh, than all these other cryptocurrencies mm -hmm. out there. Yeah, but so, except you, time and again, almost week after week, just last week, crypto currency worth $170 million goes missing from an Italian exchange, pump and dump schemes galore Absolutely. because it's unregulated. So that's, that's one of the huge issues. And again, you're, lawmakers are going to step in and do something about it. Even here in the United States, it's being discussed. Yes. And, and uh, those of us in the industry welcome that because we want the bad actors out because we believe in the underlying technology and the fact that, I mean, this was created to... Uh, I want to make sure that we don't have too many intermediaries in the process, right? Intermediaries lead to higher fees. Uh, they lead to more fraud, more error. So the idea behind cryptocurrency, actually, is to start weeding some of that out of the system. And uh, we, we want to make sure that the, the average person can benefit from this great new technology, Jordan, just like the Internet. Do you use Bitcoin in your personal life? I uh, own some Bitcoin. Um, I, I don't use it for transfers of, of uh, uh, capital. Now, uh, I do have several portfolio companies in the Future Perfect Ventures portfolio uh, that are in the emerging markets that actually use it on a daily basis to pay their people to huh. uh, uh, the, the Nigeria, um, China corridor is, is a big one for uh, transactions. Thank you so much for that. Thank you so much for that.